Hunter's Pad is the best group of DGENs that we could find. We threw them all in one house and we let them roam free. Um, all the ACR team pros are here. Uh, I'll battle them for the WSOP hardware. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. The Punter's Pad, somehow I got bribed into coming here. They paid me a million dollars to be here. That was the only way. The Punter's Pad is what should have been called the house of I'm gonna, I will shoehorn that into every chance I get, but I'll let it go. Punter's Pad is really like a, a really cool spaghetti sauce where you put like, you chop up a bunch of garlic, onions, peppers, you got some ground beef, you know, you got a, like a rich meaty sauce, which we'll call that the house, and then we're like all the vegetables, and you just let them simmer, and like, it's that, right? But then like, poker. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, this is, maybe I'm just hungry. A legendary shit show of awesomeness. I guess it pretty much boils down to, I had reached out to ACR, this was earlier in the year, and I said, hey, are all of your pros going out to play? And of course the answer was yes. And I said, where are they gonna stay? And they said, uh, we don't know. It was quite the roller coaster ride. This was actually the third different house after the first two fell through. The guru is on arrival. You know, he rolls in style. Look at that, what is that, Iron Man? Oh baby, you so sexy. What up, dog? Oh, when I first heard about this, it was a snappy ass for me. Like, as soon as I heard that this was like a concept, I'm like, I'm in. Like, not, I mean, just being around everybody, like, I just wanted to meet everyone and, you know, see what everyone's like. I just met Ebony. She seems cool as fuck. Quiet on the set. If I'm staying here with these crazy fucks during the World Series of Poker, which is like the most important time of the year for a poker player, hopefully we don't kill each other. Absolute, absolute murder. Like Katie being like, oh, we're, you know, if we, we'll never have a joint checking or anything, but it's like, uh, <laughs> wait, she's like, a nurse, right? Like, oh, what is this like 2K you took out? It's like, well, you know, like 25 with Chipotle. And then it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took a cab that night. It's like, that was a month ago. It's like, uh, and then your mom was in town and we went to dinner. It's like, it's like, that was last year. Um, that was last year. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan DePaulo. No, I don't know. Talking to you? Hi, I'm Ryan DePaulo. What the f I'm Ryan De Ryan What the fuck am I doing? Ryan DePaulo is my name. Degenerate gambler. My role in this house? I actually don't know. Um, this is an existential question. What my role would be in the house is kind of messing me up already, and I've only thought about it for five seconds. Uh, I just want to add. No, that's not even, that's kind of bullshit. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know my role is. Ryan, very polarizing character, right? You're gonna hate him, or you're gonna like, love him pretty much. There's not anyone in the middle, like, oh, I don't know how I feel about him. Like, okay, you're lying. I actually like Ryan, the, I'm surprised, you know? Like, he's just super chill. Like, he's, he comes off as so much of a schmuck, but I think that's his shtick. I was like, do you and your wife share a bank account, like anything to do with your poker bank roll? And he's like, oh fuck, God. <laughs> and he's like the sweet, he's like John and John, John, he's like, the yeah, he's like, oh. me too. Yeah, like, I'm sure, I thought for sure he'd be cuffed with buying. No, no disrespect, John, I love him. Oh, yeah. Because he has kids. What's this guy doing? What the fuck is going oh, on? Oh my God, Rob Coon, how do you feel? I feel great, but I don't know what this song is. <laughs> I think my role in the house is going to be keeping my energy uh, at a maximum. Um, I always like to have it turned on. I think that energy kind of flows uh, into other people as well. So I think my main goal here is just keeping the spirits high, um, even if some people are taking a bunch of hits to their bankrolls. <laughs> oh, I feel like my role is going to be kind of balancing people out because we have, you know, party pinging off everything up here and, and then Guru just la da 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 and then, you know, we have Ryan just over here and then we're gonna have Ebony here. Oh, hi. Oh my God, oh my God, look who it is. Come in for the real thing, boo thing. Mm. How are you? Oh my God, I feel like it's been forever. Oh my God, what didn't I bring with me? I brought everything. My SUV was completely loaded. I brought everything I need to create an altar, to do yoga, to work out, my streaming space. <laughs> and then of course, my clothes, my jewelry, my makeup, all the stuff that makes me me. 
I feel great, like I woke up this morning, it was so nice to wake up and see my altar and I have the red light before I go to bed and I have my sound machine so I was able to get really good sleeps. As soon as I turned the sound machines off when I woke up this morning, I heard them and I was like, oh my God, they're obnoxious. Oh, oh let's go, he's up, he's up. Dude, you, you don't, you don't, you don't fucking need like Rob. Yeah, we like, this guy looks like a fucking winner. Day two, man. It's really just like what happens when you group, you know, several different personalities together, right? You're gonna have the sloppy person, you're gonna have the clean person, you're gonna have the quiet person, loud person, like all that stuff. All right, I'm waking up, Robin. We need to. Oh my God, that's gonna be that's a good point. <laughs> oh God, it smells like fucking shit in here. I could smell it as soon as I open the door. Rob! Oh my God, dude. I'm living in a room with Apollo, like, Dude is OCD, so if I can live with that guy, then I don't know. We'll see. He'll probably kill me before like anything happens, but well, I'm a bad roommate, though. That's my fault. Last night, we played for about uh, 13 hours of playing for. We found a bag like 10 bags. Came home, we were like, I'm going to get a fucking really good night's sleep tonight. Walked into shit-faced Rob here, streaming for 13 hours, and... Uh, we sat down, Rob convinced me to have two cocktails, and then yeah, 1 a.m. turned what? into Rob! More than that, How are you even alive? Milkshake. How are you even alive? Bring, Bring all, alive. all the food out of the room. The milkshake, are all you of it. Shake that thing in your room? Yeah, it's so it like <laughs> <laughs> What the hell was that, bro? This is. I'm so horrified. I love you. Right, you your food. Oh, just in the same room? <laughs> Dude. Is that amazing for you? Oh, yeah. No, he looks happy. Oh, he loves being right. Dude, there's McDonald's on the floor. <laughs> and it's not like a, a decomposing body when I went in there just now. Well, that's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like OCD about my stuff. You know, like sharing a room with Rob or whatever. It's like, I don't want him to touch my things. And so it's like, it's still for sure only childness, like left over. I could see him going through things that I've went through before. Like, Rob, maybe you shouldn't do that. Rob, like, clean that up, and, which is, oh, this is great. Like, I'm just gonna let him say what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to be better. Yo, this is Rob's bar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, that's how we can get the fast food quicker. Yeah. I always love basketball. It's kind of one of those things for me, that one thing that kind of just, like, takes you away, and it's a good workout, so I love that. Oh my god! We got it. Oh my god, he's such a beast! Yes, yeah, Shaq! Oh. Yes, yeah, Shaq! Oh, no. Yo, boys, have fun today. Day two, 500 dollar reunion, 600 left, 13k starting. Here we go. Job, we're there to bro. Crash. Just a tennis ball. Alright, I'll bet you 50 bucks you can't touch rim. That's a bad bet. Uh, no, 50. Yeah, 50 bucks for sure. Meet you, Rob. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't ruin it for me. I'll share we the fifty with you. Yeah. Back out. Okay. No, no, no. It's fifty right. each. Fifty each. Touch the rim. Fifty bucks. Boy, it's fine. Higher. All right. But you got all the heart, Rob. I got a lot of heart. You got all the heart. Big guy. Heart's working a lot right now too. So you agree to fifty for each of us? Whatever, bro. Okay. okay. I'm not gonna win. By the way, this is like giving. This is chair. This is chair. I appreciate after last okay, night, just, but just, just go Ryan, ahead. Man. You know you're gonna just glow like if you ever do it. You're okay. like I had it all along. Yes! The big man got up! I'm surprised, actually. That felt like a good bet. Of course we're surprised. We lost 50 each on it. Like, we... Yeah, that's how it's doing. He backed out. What?! <laughs> because, he, because he said he didn't want to lose twice. I was like, fine, then let Ryan's uh, bet ride. What?! Your niceness saved you? Are you serious? Legit. It happens all the time. It's insane. For yeah. Wait, did that? He really backed out? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, that's so messed Cause up. Cause he was like, that's God, yo. You being nice to the car, I don't want to take money from you. I'm like, no, go, dude, dude, dude. When I go home for two weeks, I have a hoop in my house now. I'm going to work on my game so then Drew's impressed when I come back. <laughs> Damn, man, I owe you $300 now. What's on deck for you today? Oh my god! Dude, 5100 or 100, 200 is Blasio. Hopefully you're running good. I mean, I don't really feel too much going into the game. It's just another day. But yeah, hopefully I come back and. Uh, Rob, play two on two with us for real. Come on. Okay. Uh, that was good. Okay, I'm gonna take one more shot. Man. Did you think you could do it, or were you hustling us? I did not think I could. <laughs> That's why I didn't win a bet twice. I thought I was giving away a hundred dollars.